Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go over a Tuesday morning haul. Um, and I, in this haul, there's a bunch of Martha Stewart, Seven Gypsy, and Tim Holtz. So let's first start with the Martha Stewart's. Stewart, Martha Stewart. Anyway, um, I found that I went in there specifically for the Tim Holtz stuff, but I found that they had put up a bunch of the Martha Stewart stuff. So... I got it. So this is a spider web border punch. And this one is a um, kind of a foilage, but it's a, it's also a border punch, but I think it's like a frame punch because it punches both sides. And then this one I thought was really cool when I saw this. I was just like, what? Um, so with this one, it's a gigantic circle cutter. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, you put this down here and then you cut. And this tells you how large your circle is going to be. So it's going to be 12 inches in diameter, 5 and as small as 4. Because most of the um, the punches that you have go up to like, I think three and a half is the largest they go. Until you start getting into die cuts or like a Cricut or something like that. So I thought this was really cool. Especially for four bucks. I mean, that's, it says the original price is $26. Like, that's insane to me. There's no way now I'd pay $26 for this. <laughs> uh, some people might. Uh, I would not. Um, so, oh, and then there's some doily punches that I found. So I was not able to find these the first time I went through, but, um, I found them. It's, they're called circle edge punches is what they're called. They're not actually doily punches. And this one is called rounded leaf. So it looks like that. And this one is called triple web. Looks like that. I thought that was cool. And so those are the Martha Stewart punches. Um, and then the next thing, oh, I knew I'd seen that brand before. Uh, Doris. I'd mentioned that in a previous video. Um, so Doris, they had a bunch of stuff that was a dollar. So I was like, what? Yes, please. So I got some embossing folders. You got a frame here. You got some stars. A picket fence. This one's kind of cool. So this one says, um, your friends, thank you, and congratulations. Oh, you're invited. Excuse me. You're invited. Thank you, and congratulations. I was reading that backwards. So there's that. So three for a dollar is kind of cool. Uh, this one's uh, got honeycomb pattern with the bees and a couple butterflies. Nope, I lied. They're just bees. The wings made me think of butterflies, but. Um, some poppies. That's really cute. All these are a dollar, by the way. Some, I'm not sure what kind of, uh, I'm not really sure what, what design that is, but. Yeah. And then this one is have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. A little out of season, but for a dollar, uh, yes, please. And some owls. And then it's got, um, and then I got some actual die cuts. So I have some snowflakes here. And some foliage here. This one's actually really cool. I really like this one a lot. So that was that for a dollar a piece. And let's see, we'll go this route. This is Seven Gypsies. This was $3.99 for three rolls of, I want to say it feels like masking tape. I don't know what they specifically call it says global paper tape, Ruben Papier. So 
is collections from Journey. Um, but you've got some ledger type, it looks like here. Looks like um, a ruler or numbers of some sort. And just some wordage here. All of these are really cool. I like these a lot. Uh, they, f they have the texture of masking tape. Oh, uh, it's got the backing on it, but it's got the texture of masking tape here. You know, let's see if you can see this. There we go. So, and those uh, were three rolls, six yards a piece, and it was $3.99. So, those that so go over here. Um, we'll go over the paper next. This is Seven Gypsies. It says Collections from Journey. All three of them say Collections from Journey. It says Lily eight and a half, or 8 by 8 two-sided paper variety pack, 48 pieces, and these were $4. Um, I really like this because there's um, a very large variety, but at the same time, you get a lot of each paper. So you have a, a good amount of things that you could do with these paper pads like one two three four five six seven eight you get eight of each design so that's that's really really awesome and there's the back of another one the front and the back of that paper oops and there's the front and the back of that paper I really like the bingo squares it's kind of funny because the bingo squares seem to be like a thing that's uh, picking up popularity again um, I know they were pretty popular a few years back but they seem to be picking up popularity again which is kind of cool but yeah, I really like this paper because there's a lot of variety in the paper, but also a lot of diversity um, in your projects that you can create because there are so many of the same uh, pages. Now this one is also from Collections of Journey, and this is um, Avignon, Av Avignon, Avignon, something like that. I don't know, 8x8, two-sided variety pack, and it's 48 pieces, and that is what it says, Av... I've I've any gone something like that. Um, and same thing. You get um a lot of the same layout. That one's cool. I like this one. See, I like papers like this though because you can use them as background pieces, um, and then you can use stuff like this as accent pieces. So that's really cool. I like the map on the back. It's really cool. And again, uh, you can use these as background pieces. And again, as you can use these for all kinds of stuff, honestly. You could also, if you are really bored, you could cut these out and uh, use those as ephemera. Uh, so there's that. And then the last one is also collections from The Journey. And this is Harmony 8x8 two-sided paper variety pack. All of these were $4 a piece. Uh, I really liked this one. It says it's a marriage certificate. Uh, endorsement, marriage license. Really cool. This one's pretty. I really like these papers. I actually haven't seen a whole lot of these papers. I've only seen them a handful of times. And every single time I see them, they're... They're just, they're really, really neat. Very well designed. I like them a lot. Oh, it's, it looks like a tuxedo. Oh, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a side of a tuxedo. Like this is the blouse and then this is the jacket. You see it? I don't know if you can see it. You might be able to see it. At first I was like, what in the world is that? <laughs> but I figured it out. Oh, look, and then that, that's the dress. That's really cool. I like this a lot. Okay, so there's that. All right, so that's it for the paper. Um, 
The last thing that I got was this thing over here. I'm just like throwing stuff over here and it's like collapsing on me. Stay. Last thing that I got was this thing here, but this thing here is full of stuff. So I really like this bag though. This bag is from Ranger, also known as Tim Holtz, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, Ranger is Ranger. It might be owned by Tim Holtz. I don't remember. I don't know. Just ignore me. Anyway, so this bag was $3. Uh, I got some more Seven Gypsy stuff. I'm going to pull that out here. And I got like 95 billion inks. Okay, and I'm going to dump that out here. And then the inks are going to go back in this bag. But I love this bag. The texture on this bag is amazing. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. The zipper is wide tooth, so it's easy to open, easy close. Very cool. Now I can't get a grip on it because it's empty. So I really, really, really thoroughly enjoy this bag. This is a really nice bag. Um, okay, so we'll go over the Tim Holtz stuff first. So this is these were all a dollar fifty a piece. Now these are originally like five dollars a piece if you buy them at uh, Michaels um, or Joann's or any other online place or anything like that. You might be able to get like a sale on Scrapbook.com or if you use your fifty percent off coupon, you can get them for two fifty a piece. But honestly, I never use my fifty percent off coupon on anything less than like twenty dollars. But I'm weird like that. So anyway, so this one is old paper. This one is Abandon Coral. This one, I really liked this one. This one is Milled Lavender. It's like a, it's a really, really, really light purple. Really cool. This one is uh, Seedless, Seedless, Seedless. I have to open it because I can't see what it is. Uh, give me a second. Oi. Oi. Now I can't open it. So I'll go back to this one. This one is Pine Needles. This one is Brushed Corduroy. This one is Ground Espresso. Um, Hickory Smoke. It's like a really dark gray. This one is a Lucky Clover. And this one is Iced Spruce. So this one's a really, really, really light dark green, if that makes sense. So you know how like dark greens and light greens have different hues of green in them? Um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, um, it's almost like if you take a hunter green and you add white to it to make it lighten up. But if you take light green and you add black to it, it's not going to necessarily be hunter green. I don't know how to explain it. You actually have to change the hues of blue and yellow in order to create different hues of green. So that's what this is. It's kind of a really light colored dark green. I don't know how to explain that. But I did that very terribly. Um... I know I did. I confused myself when I was talking. So this one is seedless something. I want to say it's seedless prunes. That's what it looks like. Um, of course, I can't get this stupid thing open. Um, my scissors have escaped me. Okay, we're just going to open it this way. We're going to cheat. Alright. So... Preserves. <laughs> Seedless preserves. That's what that one is. So, um, so, that. so those are the stains. Um, I did only get one of each. I was not, I was not greedy. I did not get like 15 of the browns. For one, they didn't have 15 of the browns. Um, but for two, they did have a decent array of colors, and I just got one of everything that they had. So, yeah, because like I said, they're a dollar fifty. 
So yeah, I don't, actually I don't think that I duplicated any colors that I already have. I'd have to go back and relook to see if I duplicated any colors that I already have, but I don't think I did because the colors I already have are like um, really, really, really dark browns. Um, so anyway, uh, I actually think I want to go back and try to find some more of these because these are really cool. Um, because I make keepsake boxes and these would make really, really awesome either feet or knobs to open the boxes. But these are just really cool. So these are Route 66. Like that one's really on there tight. There we go. Anyway. So they're Route 66 handles. And I got two of them. And these were $1.50 a piece. These were 99 cents. And they were um, assorted metal charms. And these were scissors. These are 99 cents for the pack. Um, these are their studs, and these were $1.50 a pack. They do have adhesive on the back, but I will most likely take the adhesive off and use my own adhesive because the adhesive on the back is, um, they're just foam dots, but these are metal pieces. So yeah, so these are both uh, $1.50 a piece. These are some more metal charms. You got a bottle of wine, a heart, and a letter. I love that postcard. And these were 99 cents. Um, let's see, I'll get into those in a second. Okay. Uh, I got some more metal pieces here. Oh, and a little gem right there. So these were also 99 cents. You have the arrow, a crown, a bird, a little gem, and a key. Again, 99 cents. And then these I thought would be fun to play with. Um, I don't know. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to break a nail trying to get this open. Because this is not like your normal plastic. This is like crazy plastic. <laughs> Jeez. Like this is... I don't even know how to explain this plastic, but it's like crazy. Okay, so move that out of the way. So these are like the little connections here. And then you have the S-hook to grasp onto that. So I thought those would be really neat to play with. That's what it looks like. Uh, I'm not sure how many sets are in here. Let's see, there's six sets. So, and this was also a dollar fifty. Like I said, I thought it would be really fun to play with. I put this with that because that's where it goes. Um, okay, now we're gonna get this stuff out of the way here this over there as well okay so these are all ephemera pieces but it's labeled mini ephemera and this is from harmony and these were 99 cents okay i don't have to do that i can just open up this way so i'm gonna very quickly go through these because um i could spend an hour on this so there's that one this one. This one. This one. And I was not able to look at these in the store. I just grabbed, again, one of each that they had. The honeymoon. That's cute. The wedding songbook. Very cute. Okay, so there's that. And hello. So again, this one is called uh, the honeymoon. 
or not the honeymoon. It's the last card I just saw. Um, Harmony, excuse me. Oh, there we go. We'll do it that way next time. Okay, this one is called Harmony, and they were all 99 cents. Okay, so this one is from Vintage uh, Varsity. Hmm. Vintage Varsity, and this is also a mini ephemera kit, also 99 cents. And these are the pieces that you get. Okay. And then this one is Maritime and all uh, 16 pieces this one I thought was really cool because it's um, it's about the ocean and for those of you who may not know my husband is in the Navy so he's all about the ocean because he's always in the ocean <laughs> um, and then this one is this says tags it just says tags and it says 10 piece and it doesn't give you what they are on the back. So we're gonna open these up. Oh, I got two of these. Um, so we got a lawn chair. We got a wheel. We got a branch, a shell, a conch shell, some oars, some more shells, a boot, seahorse, hey, yo, seahorse, palm tree, feathers, hello, feathers, a lighthouse, a windmill, a whale, this way. A whale, a bottle of hot sauce. No, what is this? It looks like like liquor or wine, but what it says it says hot like H A U T, and then it says S A U T E R N E E. So I'm not exactly familiar with what that is, but anyway, wine. And cake. Sorry, I like cake. <laughs> so there's that. I'm not gonna go over the other one because it's exactly the same. Um, put this back in there. Oi, 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 oi. Go back in there. All right, there. There we go. Okay. So that's exactly the same. And then this one is printed ATC. And this is six pieces. Um. Okay, so those of you who don't know, ATC cards are two and a half by three and a half, and they are artist trading cards. So that's kind of cool, actually, because you, this is a really cool start to an ATC. You can do so much with this, but they're all file folders. So you have two with the car and the Christmas tree, and you open it up, and then on the back, you have two of those. And then you have Palmer, Bachelor Deer, I don't know what company, dealers in toys, games, dolls, bicycles, trains, marbles, blocks, tops, books, and objects, da, de art. I don't know, number 394 Washington Street or State. East side between Franklin and Summer Streets, Boston, Jacob P. Palmer. That's a lot of stuff on there. That's cool though. Uh, and then this is the inside. Oh, that's the inside. Different toys. And the back. Got two of those. And you have two, oh, hello, stay. And then you have two of these. Uh, this is the, oh, that's cool. Okay, so instead of having it all one right side, this is the right side, and then this is the right side. So that's really cool, and you got different toys. On the inside, it's striped. So that's cool. And so yeah, that's 
that's it. Um, out, and this one was a dollar fifty. So all of these other ones were ninety nine cents, and this one was a dollar fifty. So yeah, that is it. Um, I will probably go back next week just to see if they have anything different. But I most likely am not going to get anything additional. If I do, it's probably going to be the knobs. Because I really like the, And the studs. I did already get two packs of the studs. But I'll probably get another pack of the studs and some more knobs if I go back and get more. But I'll probably wait till next week to do it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And definitely head out to your Tuesday morning and see if you can find any of these inks. Because these, these stains are really cool and you can do a lot with them. So um, yeah, good luck and happy shopping. Thank you guys uh, so much for watching. Until next time. Bye guys.